Under Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act, this video is considered fair use for the purpose of criticism and commentary. I make no claim of ownership of either these videos or the video game in question. Disclaimer! This video is not intended to degrade the original creators of these videos. I highly enjoy your content and would like to see more of it. Just because I'm criticizing your videos does not mean I dislike them. This video is meant to be fun, so please take it with a pinch of salt. Click the links in the description to watch the original videos or subscribe to these creators' channels. So, I love Arkham City. No duh. I love everything wrong with videos. Again, no duh. So it makes sense that I've seen a lot of everything wrong with Arkham City videos. Now I want to nitpick them. Because they have gotten so many things wrong, it is not even a joke. Instead of just one, I'll review every one I can find. Not so subtle foreshadowing. Uh, no, it's actually pretty subtle foreshadowing. Tell me one person who genuinely thought Joker was going to die before this game finished. See this door here? It's the only conventional way of getting in this room. So how is it that Two-Face managed to sneak up on Catwoman and to her right, no less? I find it difficult to believe that Catwoman, of all people, would have terrible peripheral vision. It's quite simple, actually. He sneaks up behind her, outside her field of vision, then goes around to her side where he can stick the gun. Admittedly, it would have been better for him to stick the gun to the back of her head, but that isn't a cinematic. And it actually makes sense because she has less cover on the side of her mask than the back. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. I don't know what's more sinful, the concept of a city within a city or the egghead plan of building a super prison in the middle of the city. The former is a redundancy, and the latter must have cost billions of dollars to put in place, not to mention threaten the very lives of the people of Gotham. Well, they're both absurd, so they're both getting counted as sins. Which is exactly why Bruce Wayne is holding a press conference to shut Arkham City down. In this exact scene, two seconds after you cut Vale off. These idiots shoot tear gas and then directly run into the position where they shot the tear gas. Without gas masks, mind you. Do you know that this is tear gas? For all you know, this could just be smoke, which it very likely is, considering Bruce is unaffected and we don't hear any coughing. It's very likely just smoke to cover up their position. And now that we have you, Protocol 10 is ready to begin. So let's cut to the chase, shall we? Protocol 10 is basically accumulating all the criminals into Arkham City and laying waste to its entire population. So at what point does capturing Bruce Wayne, a la Batman, become essential to the plan? Shouldn't eliminating Batman be a top priority? You know, since Batman is the only person capable of successfully preventing Protocol 10 from being executed? It's like Hugo Strange wants to become the newest member of the stupid villain club. Yes, Batman is the only one who can stop Protocol 10, which is why he's captured as Bruce Wayne. Strange doesn't kill him because he wants Batman to see the plan in action. Is it stupid to do that? Yes, but it does give him a reason. If you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. That has got to be one of the dumbest, emptiest threats I've ever heard in my life. Who's to say the public won't embrace Bruce Wayne as Batman? Who's to say Bruce Wayne won't embrace everyone knowing that he's Batman? He could just be like, Everything is Batman! Everything is cool when you are the Dark Knight! Everything is Batman! Because he's Batman! Nothing. This was completely discussed in Arkham Knight. The only reason Batman works is because nobody knows who's behind the mask. He instills fear in criminals throughout his unknown factor. When he's revealed in Arkham Knight, he has to destroy the Batman's legacy to protect the people because, and I quote, Gotham needs something more, something worse to defend her. She needs a new myth, a legend more powerful than I can be right now. A legend that can only rise from the ashes of the Batman. In total disregard for the law, total society. What the hell are you doing? How does escaping from a chair that's not connected to any alarm automatically sound off the alarm? The guard says that he heard Bruce. This probably means someone saw his escape on a security camera or heard it and sounded the alarm. It's not too hard to make that conclusion. Now this is absolutely hilarious. Check this out. So as you can clearly see, I am actively trying to get these guys to shoot Wayne. 
Bruce Wayne, who Hugo Strange knows is Batman, and Batman being the one person who can derail his plans of completing Protocol 10, and he won't have him killed, even though I'm actively trying to get him killed. And he won't do this because... why? I guess Hugo Strange really wants to become the newest member of the stupid villain club. Season 5 I'm kind of wondering, if Batman wanted to get into Arkham City, why didn't he just sneak his way in? Why did he disguise himself as Bruce Wayne and allow himself to get captured by Tiger Security and be locked up in the prison, only to break free and escape such prison? Intel? That's the only legit excuse I can come up with. Well, game doesn't bother to care about details, so it gets counted as a sin. He says that getting captured wasn't part of his plan to Alfred just moments before this. If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. But how? You just heard that Strange doesn't mind her getting killed, and as we later find out, she's not involved with him in any way. You're the world's greatest detective, Batman. You shouldn't proceed with an investigation based on assumptions. Because Selina is someone he goes to for information. She knows things. As we see later, she can get into the most secure part of Arkham City. So it wouldn't be too hard to assume that she could get some information with the likely long time that she's been in there. We find out that she doesn't, but it was a fair assumption nonetheless. Heads or tails, kitty cat? Which one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. The inconsistency of Two-Face's coin toss. Earlier, he flipped it and slapped it on the back of his hand. Here, he simply catches and reveals it. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from a guy called Two-Face, but it's still sinful. He does that all the time. Not only that, but he's holding the gun to Catwoman's head with his other hand, which would be pretty hard to slap a coin onto unless you want to remove the gun from the equation which I am certain Two-Face would not want to do right now. This place is dangerous. I like it. Two things. First off, are you really saying that after you literally almost got shot in the head and you were dangling over a pit of acid earlier? Two, you're just now noticing that Arkham City is dangerous? No, she's just saying that to Batman because she likes to quip. I need to locate where the bullet entered the court and where it impacted. Batman says this even though he clearly saw where the bullet entered the court. Yeah, but he needs to find out where it landed too. And he needs to scan where it entered so his sensors can calculate the trajectory. Protocol 10 will commence in 10 hours. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Hugo. My short-term memory loss made me forget to care about the main plot of this game. That's called building anticipation, and this will be repeated multiple times throughout the game to keep building anticipation. If anything, Protocol 10 is pretty much the B plot in Arkham City, while everything else with Joker's poisoning of Batman is the A plot. Joker was at the church? Nah, it was Quinn and a bunch of goons. Harley Quinn? I thought Joker dumped that crazy-ass woman months ago. No way. I heard they got married. He wouldn't let a piece of ass like Harley get away. You'd have to be crazy. Yeah, no one ever called those two crazy, did they? Is it bad that the dialogue between random thugs are some of the most entertaining parts of the game? I think it is. Uh, no, because the thugs are only there to fight comic relief when Joker isn't present. When this is over, I'm gonna make you regret this. This thug is the same actor who voices Aaron Cash, who is a good guy. I don't know if any of you just noticed, but Batman just saved our asses. When this is over, I'm gonna make you regret this. So, some of the most basic thugs are voiced by Nolan North. He also voices the Penguin. Voice actors can be reused in both movies and games. Pointless augmented reality training exercises. Upgrades and trophies should be reserved for chapter completion and Riddler challenges only. No, because these AR sections teach you about Batman's gliding capabilities and only give you a reward after the first four. How does this asshole not spot Batman? Thugs can't see him on gargoyles either, so it isn't too hard to see this happening. Protocol 10 will commence in nine hours. Thanks again, Hugo. I keep forgetting about that. Season 14. Ready for a doozy one viewer? Check this out. So we later find out that Clayface is the fake Joker covering up for the ill real Joker. And in the flashback, we see that the real Joker was in fact still alive. However, in this scene, the Joker that you see here laying motionless is in fact the real Joker. And as you can see from Batman's detective mode scanning, it clearly says that he is deceased. Either Batman has faulty technology or this is a plot twist inside a plot twist. And if that's the case, it wouldn't make any sense because the real Joker is clinically dead which means the remaining Joker scenes in this game should not exist. Yeah, you can die, flatline even, and be brought back to life through a wonderful invention called a defibrillator. You can remain without a heartbeat for a decent amount of time before true death is reached. Even Arkham Origins knew this. 
Oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. Couple of things wrong with this. First, you must have some pretty crappy hospitals if they accept samples of blood without first checking them for toxins. Two, since Joker says this has been going on for weeks, it stands to reason that a number of the sick and elderly should have died from this mysterious poison, have the hospitals check for contaminated blood, stop using it, have the news stations report on it, and everyone be informed of this atrocity, which clearly did not happen. See my Arkham City theory. Links in the description. The specification... I need to set up a crime scene here. It's the only way to find out who killed this man. Batman cares about setting up a crime scene after he literally saw someone get shot right before him, seemingly not caring if the shooter might reload and try to kill him. The shooter never does, which means this gets counted as a double sin. Okay, I'll give you the first one, but we are given an explanation as to why. Batman isn't on Deadshot's list until later. We see this in the mission, which I'm guessing you didn't complete. One size fits all encryption ship again. He's gotten both of those chips from radios, likely the same brand of radio, so it would reason that they could both fit. If he got the other from an earpiece or something, this sin would make sense, but it isn't. Protocol 10 will commence in seven hours. Okay, now you're just getting annoying at this point. If you have to keep reminding the player about the main plot of the game, then you have failed at storytelling. Again, it's called building anticipation. I never forgot about Protocol 10 existing. These reminders keep telling you how close Protocol 10 is to happening, making you keep wonder what it is. The situation is worse than I thought. Penguin has a supply of the Titan formula. He's got what? How do you get Titan off Arkham Island? Oracle would be excellent at gaming sins. We can see that some Titan containers were left floating in the sea after the Arkham Asylum credits. We only see Bane, Killer Croc, and Scarecrow grab it, but it isn't too hard to assume that someone else could get them especially since there's a container not too far away from the museum that you need to destroy. When you're done in here, feel free to join me in the Iceberg Lounge so I can kick your ass again. Again? Motherfucker, you have never kicked Batman's ass. Ever. You may have kicked Bruce Wayne's ass in the beginning of the game, but you don't know that he's Batman. Batman is frozen to a wall. This, in the Penguin's eyes, is equivalent to kicking someone's ass. I could equate that. No sign of Freeze, just his suit. He can't survive without it. Further proving my point as to how Penguin transported Freeze all the way across the city to this museum and lock him in a display case without sub-zero temperatures and him remaining alive as we later find out. Freeze is alive because of that blue liquid in his chest. It's keeping him alive, but it doesn't make the pain any better. It's like one of us getting a hot metal rod to the chest. It hurts like absolute hell, but it won't kill us. That's all you need to defeat Jaws, and he will not take revenge. Um, yeah, actually, one of the best ways to stop a shark is to hit their nose. These police officers magically vanish once Penguin detonates the iceberg. Yeah, they probably ran off as soon as Penguin was knocked off. Those ledges where you had to get around Penguin still exist. I tried to help you, Batman. I gave you the opportunity to end this and walk away, but oh no. You had to be the big man. Yeah, that's not what you said earlier. When you're done in here, feel free to join me in the Iceberg Lounge so I can kick your ass again. He's talking about the Gladiator Arena. Are you gonna be a good boy and give up nicely? Nope, you should be electrocuted. Batman is getting electrocuted. Slowly because Grundy's body is acting as a resistor, suppressing how damaging it would be. Highly trained assassin doesn't notice or feel Batman planting a tracking device on her. You saw how lightly he placed it? If Strange really knows who you are, what happens if he tells everyone? Who cares? It's not like he's gonna do it anyway. He literally said at the beginning of the game. If you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. Yeah, well, we're clearly trying to stop him and he hasn't done it because... why again? Strange has no indication that Batman is trying to stop him. Nothing he has done so far in the plot would indicate that Strange knows he's trying to stop him. Protocol 10 will commence in five hours. Fuck off, Hugo. I don't even care about the main plot at this point. I am far more interested in these side missions. See you above. It looks like Joker is sending his crew down to steal weapons off the Tiger Guards. That's not good. 
Those guys are armed with the latest military weapons. Oh, you mean guns, thermal scanners, and signal jammers? All of which I have faced in this game already? Unimpressed, I am. No, she means the most advanced of those things. There are different models of assault rifles and shotguns. Some are better than others. Tiger simply has the better ones. Protocol 10 will commence in four hours. La 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 la. Main plot has been long forgotten. La 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 la. See above. How long have I got? Oh, thank God. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. At this rate, I'd say minutes. Fuck you, game. Joker has been exposed to this toxin for six months and he's still alive. Batman has been exposed to it for mere hours and you're gonna try to convince me he's damn near death? Get the hell out of here, man. Artificial tension is artificial. See my theory again. Destiny will decide your fate. Fate and destiny are the same thing. Fate, the development of events beyond a person's control, regarded as determined by a supernatural power. Destiny, the events that will necessarily happen to a particular person or thing in the future. Dictionary says no. Best boss battle in the game does not happen at the end. B.S. You know Mr. Freeze is the best boss fight. Rachel Gould takes second. Protocol 10 will commence in- Skip! You get it. So you know that override code for Freeze's gun that we gained earlier? Yep. Can't use it in this boss battle, cause that would make too much sense. Yes you can! Did you even attempt to use it? I think not, because it is one of the first ones I tried, and it worked. I'd say this idiocy is worth three sins. This damn chopper is actually gaining altitude after being hit. Are you saying that's impossible? Only the back rudder was hit, so the propeller could still spin faster to gain altitude. Which is why the chopper starts to spin as it goes down. This guy has terrible peripheral vision. The shot at putting a bullet through that annoying reporter's face. They all have terrible peripheral vision. That's the joke. And they're looking through sniper scopes anyway. Meaning that they'd have one eye down a sightline and the other closed. Protocol 10 will commence. Skip! Uh. There's nothing you can teach me, Joker. Oh, come on! There's always something to learn. Let's start with getting your ass kicked 101. That line. How dare you! That line is classic! Do we have a deal? Trusting Joker. Shit, you might as well put the Grim Reaper over Talia to signal how doomed she is. She isn't trusting Joker, she's only doing this to save Bruce's life. Which she does. She has that tracker so that Bruce can find her and stop Joker. Wait, you two are still going at it? Selena, you got caught like seven hours ago. What the hell have you two been doing this whole time? Oh... Not exactly. Protocol 10 hasn't started at this point, so we don't know how long they've been there. Random spawning enemies. No, they came through the door and closed it so she couldn't run away. You can literally see it closing as the fight starts. Okay, I have to commend Rocksteady for being ballsy enough to pull this off. If you decide to be an asshole and leave Batman to die, the game simply ends. Just like that. Poof! Vamos, son of a bitch! But, the reason why it's getting counted as a sin is that it literally rewinds the game and forces you to save Batman. No, really. If you try it again, the game will leave you no other option. I can't leave Batman to die. I need to find him. This renders that whole choice segment utterly pointless. How dare you not take off a sin for this? If the game could end that way, the backlash would be ridiculous. All players are going to choose this the first time just to see what happens, because players are stupid. If it ended, you'd have to play through the entire game again to get to this point. Of course they're going to have it rewind. Which brings me to this. How is there a random camera pointing at Batman from above when the roof has collapsed? Because Tiger has helicopters. As we move into the final stage of Protocol 10, I would like to congratulate all Tiger forces on this wonderful achievement. My projections show that within three hours, every single inmate of Arkham City will be dead, and Protocol 10 will move into Stage 2. Dr. Strange says Protocol 10 is nearing Stage 2 when he just said that it was approaching its final stage. Who's to say Stage 2 isn't the final stage? Oracle. Shut this place down. My pleasure. So, all you need to deactivate Protocol 10 is flip a switch, huh? Just like that? 
Well, that's pretty easy. He didn't flip a switch. He put some sort of device on one of the main computers. It's likely some kind of a jamming device that gives Oracle access to everything in the mainframe. Therefore, it would make perfect sense that Batman says this. And what about those choppers that are still blasting the city to hell? Is Oracle's hacking going to stop them? No? No? Well, alrighty then. No, she's going to call off the attack. We see the choppers being called in after the tower explodes, so she simply told them to cease fire. When you came to me with Batman's identity, I gave you this chance to prove your worth. Uh, Raish, your daughter Talia already knows Batman's real identity. He could have just asked her. But he doesn't know that. You're making me late for my spa treatment. I mean, it's not like you've got a girl to save anymore, is it? <laughs> Actually, he's got plenty to save. Catwoman, Vicky Vale, Julie Madison, Sasha Bordeaux, Andrea Beaumont, Linda Page, Silver St. Cloud, Natalia Knight, Rachel Caspian, Lorna Shore, Robin. Joke's on you, Joker. But Joker doesn't know this, so... These bombs appear out of nowhere. Uh, nope. They have been there the entire fight. You're just too blind to see them. I saw them the first time that I fought this boss. Five years ago. Um... Batman just made Clayface fall into the Lazarus pit. Let that sink in for a bit, people. If this goes where I think it could go, Gotham is f***ed. But it isn't activated because that structure can no longer be struck by lightning. Therefore, it won't work. Besides, Clayface is pretty much immortal anyway, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. Batman is only now coming to this realization. I mean, not necessarily. He's probably known that for years, but only now monologues it to Joker. Just because this is the perfect moment. So, that was the only cure available. Ra's al Ghul is dead, so you can't formulate more. And I doubt Freeze would help out Batman and make the cure since he never found Nora. So, basically everyone who was poisoned by Joker is now dead. Unless they come up with some bullshit excuse in Arkham Knight, Batman has failed this city. Uh, nope, because Mr. Fox was able to make a cure. And you even played the mission where it happened. And see my theory, shameless plug times three combo. Joker dies. That is not a sin. I'd like to go ahead and give a shout out to the Batman Arkham Amino. By the way, I'm not sponsored. This is currently a very small community with only about 100 members total and very few of them active. I am one of those few active members and decided that, you know what? I'd go ahead and shout them out because it is a very cool community, despite being so small. So please check out this community and Amino as a whole if you get the chance. The link is in the description. By the end of tonight, I will be a hero just like you, Batman. SD cards in Gotham instantly load up whatever is stored in them without selecting anything. No one would ever store porn on their cell phones if that's how that worked. Uh, does anyone store porn on their phone? I'm pretty sure you just used the internet. There was no way Two-Face could have snuck up on Catwoman here because the only entrance to this room was right behind her. And we can see behind her. Plus, Two-Face came from Catwoman's right side. I explained this in the last video. Skip! Man, Gotham City news channels have a serious gender bias problem when only one female reporter shows up to cover Bruce Wayne's press conference and every single other reporter is a man. We cannot see every reporter on the scene, therefore this argument is invalid. Every inmate from Arkham Asylum and Blackgate Prison has been relocated to this facility. How can this be safe for the people of Gotham? I'm more interested in how it was approved in the first place. Walling off an entire district of the city and relocating the population had to cost billions. Not to mention all the human rights violations creating an escape from Los Angeles-style prison would create. Does the ACLU know about this? Quincy Sharp explains how Arkham City was opened. He approved it and put Strange in charge. His secret office in the asylum even had all the plans. Shooting tear gas into a crowd and then running into your own tear gas is the exact opposite of how you use tear gas. You're not even wearing gas masks. See the first video. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Batman. And now that we have you... Protocol 10 is ready to begin. I'm just going to spoil everything right now and tell you Protocol 10 is just rounding up all the criminals in Gotham in one place and then killing them. There is nothing in that plan that required you to capture Batman first. In fact, not involving the friggin' Batman should be step one on your checklist. Yes, there is. Batman could interfere with the plan and stop it. Which he does. 
Strange is simply too high on his horse that he's blind to the fact that Bruce could escape and become Batman. So you've captured Bruce Wayne, who you know to be Batman, and you just dump him into Arkham City even though nothing in your plan calls for Batman to be present there? Why not just kill him right now? Save yourself the trouble and do it while you have him chained to a chair. You are putting the one man who can stop you into the best place to stop you. Strange doesn't want to kill Bruce because he wants him to see what Protocol 10 is. Remember that Strange wants to be Batman, so he's almost doing this to impress him. If Batman can airdrop his suit into Arkham City, it stands to reason that he could have dropped himself in rather than allow himself to be captured during his press conference. It wasn't in his plan to be captured. He says that to Alfred on the way up to the building. Penguin grabbed Bruce right outside the museum, which is his base of operations. But for some reason he dragged Bruce halfway across Arkham City right next to the courthouse just so he could beat him in a random alley. Did you even play the game? The entrance to Arkham City is on the other side of the Bowery from the museum. It's right here on the map, and the alleyway they dragged Bruce to is right here. You literally go back to this entrance multiple times in the story. How did you mess this up? That's worth two cents. What would you have done if there wasn't a wire stretch between the walls of the furnace for you to grab onto? Hell, I'm pretty sure I could go through all of Batman's comics, movies, and games and ask that same question with only slightly different wording about multiple things. Batman may not have superpowers, but he sure does have convenient bull on his side. He would glide to the ledge right in front of you. Okay, now you definitely have to be brain damaged. He's wearing the cowl now, so that is likely less likely than before. Nice of you to say, but you of all people should know there's plenty wrong with me. This sin is for all the people who think Heath Ledger was a better Joker than Mark Hamill. You're just wrong. Admit it. You mean everyone? Seriously though, Mark Hamill is second placed. At least until Joaquin Phoenix delivers his take. <laughs> because now, there's a teeny little bit of me in you too, bats! On one hand, this is sinworthy because pumping Joker's blood into Batman without first making sure they shared a blood type would likely kill Batman outright. And on the other hand, it's sinworthy because Joker has been living with Titan poisoning for six months, yet it will kill Batman in just a few hours. Fourth shameless plug of the same video. If Joker is dying of Titan poisoning, why isn't Poison Ivy? She was injected with a Titan back at Arkham Asylum too, and if she cured herself, why doesn't Joker or Batman go to her for a cure? Who's to say she is cured? She may still have Titan in her blood, but isn't using it to her fullest potential. Also because you can never trust Poison Ivy, and they may not know where she is. <gasps> oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. Do the hospitals in Gotham do blood transfusions without first checking the blood, even when said blood was shipped to them from Arkham City? And since this has been going on for weeks, according to the Joker, there should have already been several deaths and the hospitals should already be checking for contaminated blood and have stopped using any of it by now. Theory. <laughs> what happened to those two captured police officers who were on the iceberg with you when Penguin detonated the bomb? They probably ran off after Batman reached Penguin. Those catwalks didn't collapse. I gave you the opportunity to end this and walk away, but oh no, you had to be the big man. No, you didn't. You literally invited Batman to join you in the Iceberg Lounge so you could fight him. Before that, though, he gave him the option to give up nicely in the Gladiator Pit. Are you gonna be a good boy and give up nicely? That remote looks exactly like the remote Batman used to disable Freeze's freeze gun. Similar looking remotes can have different functions, and vice versa. See literally every TV remote ever made. Batman should be electrocuted. See the same sin in the first video. If Strange really knows who you are, what happens if he tells everyone? Why hasn't Strange told everyone that Batman is Bruce Wayne? He threatened to do just that if Batman tried to stop him, and Batman is clearly trying to stop him. So why is he just sitting on that bombshell? Batman isn't currently doing anything that Strange would see as stopping him. He's trying to cure himself after getting poisoned. This doesn't th threaten Strange's plan in any way. Hell, Strange has hardly seen Batman because he's been away from the choppers and cameras the entire game. Robots from the turn of the century not only had cloud storage, but HD video recording. Batman says that this technology was ahead of its time. That's why. How long have I got? Oh, thank God. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. At this rate, I'd say minutes. Since Batman only has mere minutes to live, then I have to assume the Joker is already dead, right? And all those people poisoned in Gotham Hospital? They must be dead or dying as well, right? Right? You get the point. I speak for everyone who's ever played this game when I say, F*** this part. F*** this part in particular. No, you don't. I love the Demon Trials. Point disproven. There was a chalice and pedestal in this room when Batman entered. After his hallucination, both are missing. Because they disappear. 
like right after you drink and the walls start to give way. Batman happens to have an advanced hypodermic needle thingy on him just for taking blood samples. Yeah. He's a detective. That makes sense. It's convenient for collecting blood samples. Bruce, it's not good. Gotham General has at least 30 confirmed cases. There are nearly 50 at Mercy, and it's looking like the pattern repeats all over the city. I've run a simulation. Joker's blood could be in as many as 2,000 people by the morning. The only reason Batman is even alive right now is because he drank a small amount of Raish's Lazarus juice. Yet none of the 2,000 victims poisoned by the Joker are dead. Uh. The formula is complete. The bonding process appears to have been successful. I'm pretty certain you have to test that first. Unless science now accepts that the color of your chemicals is all you need to tell if something worked or not. Screw clinical trials, am I right? Computer. Good thing we have the override code for Mr. Freeze's ice gun. What's that? We can't use it here? That makes sense. You too? Jesus, did you even try it? This helicopter manages to gain altitude after having its tail rudder blown off. Same sin as before. Did Poison Ivy just sit here for hours with Catwoman strung up from her vines? I mean, that happened back at the beginning of the game, and yet these two haven't moved an inch. We don't know how long they've been like this. Only that it's after Protocol 10. That could mean any number of hours have passed, even a small amount. Could someone return Marcellus Wallace's briefcase already? It keeps popping up in my entertainment and making me think of much better entertainment. If you think any media is better than Arkham City, then you... have an opinion. And that's perfectly fine. Carry on. Strange has a security camera on the ceiling of the steel mill, which Joker controls, and that camera is looking straight down at Batman, who was buried under rubble when the roof collapsed. The roof that the camera is apparently attached to. Am I the only one who sees the problem here? And why is the security feed showing up on this one random monitor in a vault where Catwoman is anyway? Or it could be, I don't know, any number of the helicopters Tiger has access to. Just a thought. I have to question Strange's plan of killing every inmate in Arkham City with helicopters. It's not like there aren't plenty of buildings for the inmates to take cover in. It would have been much easier to keep them locked away than line them all up and gun them down Stalin style. Well... I'm no explosive scientist, but I'm pretty sure that missiles can cause damage to buildings. We see it happen to all of the villains' fortresses, so it could probably happen to any building. Oracle, shut this place down. My pleasure. Flipping one switch is enough to allow Oracle to deactivate Protocol 10. How her hacking a computer is going to shut down armed attack choppers is beyond me. See the sin before. When you came to me with Batman's identity... Considering that your daughter Talia already knew who Batman was, why did you need Strange to tell you? He didn't know Talia knew Bruce was Batman. Talia, no! Do any of the villains in this game ever notice anything? Joker was standing right behind Talia. He should have noticed that she was no longer tied up. He was looking at Batman, not down at Talia. That's just called line of sight. If that reflection was the real Joker, how come Batman didn't notice the reflection in the mirror didn't jump down when Clayface did? And for this trick to actually work, Joker would have had to mirror the room on the other side of the glass panel. How do you know the reflection didn't jump down? For all we see, he very well could have. This game is clearly set in modern times, but this theater is playing movies from the 50s. Movie theaters can do that. In fact, a lot of them do. Beats me how all these bombs just appeared out of nowhere all over the floor. This is one of those sins where there's nothing you can say to make it funny, so I'm just dinging it and running towards the end. They didn't appear out of nowhere. I thought I was blind for walking into a pole less than a foot away from me. Yeah, Batman is drinking the cure, but considering how long it actually takes for ingested medicine to have an effect, and that Batman only has minutes to live at this point, he should still be screwed. You don't know how long that will take. For all we know about Freeze's medicine, it could take nanoseconds. Yeah, sure, why not? That's a thing you can totally plan to happen by sticking a sword in a control panel. He wasn't playing that to happen. It was just a scared Joker, make him stumble, and not jump into the pit. This was just a side effect. Well, I guess all those people Joker poisoned are screwed. That was the last of the cure, and Ra's al Ghul is dead, so you can't make any more. So, nice job saving the people, hero. See you above. Wow. So deep. You're damn right it is. You're oh, just like you. Batman. Arkham City. Why would he come here? You guys just need to chill the hell out. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> chill? <laughs> okay. Mr. Freeze isn't in this scene, so that joke makes no sense.
Normally I don't send jokes, but really? Did it arrive, sir? Huh? You can't possibly tell me that no one is gonna notice it. Who's to say nobody did? It doesn't really matter if somebody did because they probably don't know how to get to the roof of that building. <laughs> Wait, I just realized, is he still wearing the suit underneath the Batman suit? I know that leaving it behind would eventually let people make a connection, but that cannot be comfortable to fight in. Or maybe the suit is in the now-closed capsule the Batsuit was dropped off in. Even if it isn't, who's to say Alfred didn't send a suit that would be compatible enough to do that? We don't know how many suits he has. Watch me kill your favorite cat. The ex-district attorney here has said something- <laughs> What the hell? See you soon, This place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? It was Joker. Why does he immediately assume You're Joker? This place is crawling with inmates. No it is. literally could have been anyone else in Arkham. If you look at the laser on Catwoman's head, you can clearly see a smiley face on it. Who else in all of Arkham would specifically make this one of their design choices? Wait here, Doctor. What the hell are you doing? I need to get out of here. Someone needs to stop Joker. What the fuck? Stay okay, I get it. You're the Batman, but where were you keeping that huge ass gun? He wasn't. He was holding on to parts for it and constructed it on the spot. Imagine sucking down that last breath knowing that Gotham is doing the same. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. Something doesn't make sense to me about Joker's plan. Before Batman got there, Harley kept ordering the henchmen to kill him. So, what would have happened if they succeeded? Joker most likely would have never gotten the cure. Then again, Gotham would have perished along with him, which was probably his plan all along, but to get the cure in the first place, he needed Batman. Unless he anticipated that Batman would succeed either way and planned to do this all along, which I can't help but feel is boosh. Joker knows Batman, and Batman knows Joker. This is established multiple times in the series, so Joker expecting Batman to escape all of these situations is not far-fetched in any way. Ugh, of course we still have these boss fights. Except we don't. The Titan encounters were changed so much from Asylum that they're basically different enemies entirely. If Strange really knows who you are, what happens if he tells everyone? Not a problem, dude. He knows vital information, yet never does anything with it. Yeah. He doesn't have to. Batman has done nothing to stop Strange yet, nor will he for the rest of the game until Protocol 10 begins. Also, again, get himself arrested? Hardly. He just happened to fall down and your ninjas happened to appear. No Bruce got arrested, albeit not by choice. And now we happen to be here. Good. Feel the blood of the demon course through your veins, restoring your health and twisting your will. Okay, so the blood of the demon restored your health and as a result gave you more time to live, your right? And earlier Oracle said you had but minutes to pull this off. This world, you got this disease way the after the Joker had it, so Joker should be dead by now, right? See the theory. <sighs> I'm almost done making this joke because it almost feels redundant. And these guys made their videos before I did. But I still want the count to get as high as it can, so... My father is old. His time is over. Now, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but if the Lazarus Pit can keep him alive and relatively young, why does he necessarily have to be replaced? If he can grow immune to the pit, doesn't that overall defeat the purpose of the pit? No, Raish has reincarnated himself so many times, to the point where he's grown an addiction to the pit. At this point, he's ready to die because he's lived for so long. For more reference, see the Wolverine and Logan. All I had to do was set up Arkham City and put Strange in charge! It made perfect sense! The scum of Gotham needed to be punished! Yeah, nice going on with Deus Arkham. Let's put all the criminally insane from both our insane asylum and Black A prison inside their own city so that they're essentially free to do whatever they want inside said city. Surely nothing but good can come from this. He's a corrupt politician. What'd you expect? Actually, just take the corrupt part out of that. <laughs> Political jokes! No, but seriously, again, this goes against Joker's plan. He needs Batman to retrieve the cure for Mr. Freeze. Nothing guarantees that Batman is going to make it back to cure the Joker. Above that non-guarantee, he's trying to prevent Batman from finding a cure by having his goons try to take him down. Without Batman, there's no cure. They need Ra's al Ghul's blood for the enzyme, and no one else knows where to find said enzyme. 
He sent Batman to find a cure, and for all Joker knows, he might already have it, already cured himself, sent the cure to all the hospitals in Gotham, and left the Joker for dead. Unless he knows that Batman wouldn't leave him to die, which is again, boosh. See you above. Impressive, Batman. I doubted you would actually return. I'm a man of my word, Victor. You should know that by now. Wait, what? That was it? Yeah, that was it. Freeze is pretty damn smart, so it would make sense that he could modify these devices to do whatever it is that it just did. You look unwell. Give it to me. I'm afraid I cannot do that, Batman. You have given me your last order. I don't understand why destroy one of the cures. To prove a point, he could have negotiated without having to do that. And if he was planning to not give the cures, why not destroy both? Because he needs Batman to find Nora. If both cures are gone, Batman would have no incentive to find Nora and probably send Freeze out of this building into the ER with 207 broken bones. This is not a time for negotiation. I think it is. The clown has my wife. Bring her back to me. I spared your life, brought your suit back, which, by the way, allows you to live in the first place, allowed your revenge on Cobblepot, and brought you an enzyme which could possibly further your search for a cure for your wife. Victor Freeze is a dick. His wife is the most important thing to him. Joker took Nora because Freeze wouldn't help him. Batman is now in the same situation as Joker and is here to help Freeze. So why not get him to help, even with threats? Also, after what's possibly the best boss battle in this game, it comes off as just a hissy fit. Freeze is fine after that massive beating. It wasn't that bad of a beating. Freeze himself only took about seven punches. Oh my god, our mystery caller was correct. It looks like Batman himself is exiting the building. Is he really? Are you f***ing serious? You had a mystery caller and you had no idea it was the Joker. It very well could have just been a random thug that Joker told the lines to. There's always something to learn. Let's start with getting your ass kicked 101. You gotta realize that Joker would not be this stupid to take on the goddamn Batman in a fist fight. He can be that stupid. And it's Clayface anyway, so it's not too outlandish. Besides, he instantly realizes that he can't win and calls in his boys. Are we not done yet, Ivy? What the f***? It's been four to five hours in game time! What the hell are you doing still hanging from there? We do not know how long it's been. Protocol 10 hasn't started, so we can't make any assumptions of time. You can do it! Just walk right out of here and leave him. It's easy. You'll never forgive yourself, Selina. Save Batman, then get out of here. Why give us an option? No matter what we choose, we have to save Batman anyway. You can either do it directly or get a pseudo-ending that rewinds as soon as it's over. Because that is good expectation subversion on Rock City's part. I, Hugo Strange, am your successor. I have saved God. You ever get the feeling that Hugo Strange just wanted to be Batman? He does. That's part of his character in the comics. He literally dresses up as Batman, beard and all. You said I could replace you. This was our vision. And you failed to see it through. But... When you came to me with Batman's identity, I gave you this chance to prove your worth, providing you with limitless resources for your plan. Wait, are you telling me that Ra's al Ghul didn't know who Batman was? Or is it implying that Ra's took in Strange because he found out? Either way, how did Strange ever find out who Batman was? See Riddler's interview tapes. Hello? Is anyone there? I'll get back to you. Something's come up. Hello, Batman. I know you can hear me. You know, I realize this is a video game and all, but how f***ing convenient that this just happened to play in front of Batman just as he stopped Hugo Strange and Ra's al Ghul. Wasn't this supposed to be a whole would-you-rather-save-one-live-or-hundreds-of-them sort of situation? Because the progression of the story kind of defeats the purpose. While I will give you that the timing is a little convenient, the placement doesn't have to be. Joker probably hacked every TV in the area to get his message across. And actually, now that I think about it, the timing kind of does make sense. 
Joker probably had this broadcast planned, but figured what Batman would do, because they know each other. So, when Joker saw Wonder Tower explode and that the choppers stopped firing, he assumed Batman was done with Strange. Hell, he probably even saw Batman falling out of the tower with Raish. Problem solved. You didn't need to- Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. There's always a choice. I had to save you. Question is, why did he never use it? Is that why we saw Harley all tied up? You're seriously suggesting that in all the time that we were uselessly fighting Mr. Freeze, A, Harley didn't get the cure and back to Joker in time, and B, Talia stole the cure back without anyone noticing or freeing Harley. That is exactly what they're implying, and it makes perfect sense. Be careful. This will end okay. I promise. You think? It's not been the same since... He won't even talk about Talia or Joker. Talia I understand, but being upset over Joker's death kind of proves that Batman is nothing without the Joker, and I'm okay with that, and I am not okay with that. That's literally the crux of this series. Batman's relationship with the Joker. It makes perfect sense. Batman will die in there if I don't find the key. Judging by the fact that it's been two days, he probably already should be dead. Not by lack of water, Rock City was clever enough to know that you can usually go three days without it, but if he has no oxygen in that thing, he definitely should have suffocated by now. He had oxygen and he entered a state where he doesn't need it as much as normal, so it wouldn't be too hard to assume he could survive long enough, even with carbon dioxide exposure. And if you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. There is no good reason for Doctor Strange to keep Batman alive. Yes, there is. He wants Batman to see Protocol 10 in action because he wants to impress Batman because he wants to be Batman. On your feet, Ryder. I said get up. Batman gives Ryder no opportunity to get up before telling him to get up a second time. That is your fault as the player. He tells Ryder to get up when the player presses the button, which you did as the player. Welcome to hell! Batman's leg should have just been broken. Well, they were hit from the back, so probably not. They'd be very badly bruised, but... They'd really just give out like they did. Alfred, I took an encryption key from a tiger guard. I'm going to hack into their communications. Apparently, when it comes to encryption chips, one size fits all in Gotham. Well, all the chips he puts in the cryptographic sequencer are radio chips, which both come from very similar, if not identical, radios. It's not too hard to believe that a slot would exist for those chips specifically. I need to find Catwoman now. You don't need to find Catwoman, you need to rescue her. The helicopter pilot just told you that she's in the courthouse. But Batman doesn't know where in the courthouse, so he does still need to find her. Until Catwoman is within eyesight of Batman, he has not found her. You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, hard. Ha ha, a pun. See Sin 11 from the very first video. Protocol 10. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. Batman's acting like an angry That's asshole. Strange. You wouldn't, given the circumstances? This place is dangerous. I like it. Did Catwoman just now realize that Arkham City is dangerous? Two minutes ago, she was suspended over a vat of green boiling goo by a man with two faces. She's just quipping with Batman. That's why she says she likes it. I've got to run, boys! If he tries anything funny, kill him! I would ask why they don't just kill Batman now, except I know the reason. Joker needs him. With that knowledge in hand, it seems strange that Harley would order her men to shoot Batman if he tried anything funny. Of course he's gonna try something funny. He's Batman! Joker knows those guys won't succeed in killing Batman because he knows Batman. You know, it's kind that someone stretched a cable over the pit of molten metal for Batman to land on. He could've just glided a bit forward if it wasn't there. It just makes the landing better, and a good transition for the player. If you hear anyone coming, hide. Batman, have you seen any good hiding spots that a normal person can reach? She does get to a decent hiding spot, so this sin is later disproven. Protocol 10 will commence in 9 hours. We've become so bogged down in the mandatory side quest that the developers felt it necessary to remind us what the game's primary plot is. It's called building tension. It's something good writers use. Look it up someday. Look, we're running out of time. I need your help. If you need his help, why have you been trying to kill him? Super villains are super stupid. Because he knows Batman will survive whatever he throws at him. 
Oh, didn't I say? Scene does not contain a lap dance. Eh, debatable. I'll give you that one. I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. No emergency room worth anything would accept anonymous bags of blood without first checking them for toxins. Shameless plug number, I've lost count at this point. Does every communication device in Gotham have the same type of encryption chip? How has this trust not been busted? No, because Batman didn't put the chip into the cryptographic sequencer, but the gauntlet com. That makes sense. You see one of Joker's crew? Waste them. What about Batman? Kill him too. Just like that? Just like that. Generic superhero goons are arrogant enough to think that they can kill the Batman. Wouldn't you? Are you gonna be a good boy and give up nicely? You're not giving orders here anymore, Cobblepot. I was hoping you'd say that. See, if I were Penguin, I would have hoped that Batman would say, yeah, I'll give up. Seems funny to hope that he'll fight. He wants new recruits and explains how he gets them seconds later. When you're done in here, feel free to join me in the Iceberg Lounge so I can kick your ass again. Penguin has never kicked Batman's ass. I'd say incapacitating him by freezing him to a wall is about equivalent to kicking his ass. At least in Penguin's eyes. There's a, a security override chip I built into the suit. Okay, let me guess, it's... Yep, it's the same damn chip. No, it isn't, because it fits into a completely different device of Batman's, and not the cryptographic sequencer. Protocol 10 will commence in five hours. Oh, thank you for reminding me again what the game's primary plot is. I'd almost forgotten. The fact that you had forgotten just shows how bad your memory is. I doubt a majority of players forgot about Protocol 10, so this just keeps building suspense. And if this was meant as a joke, then you should have enjoyed hearing that again because it means Protocol 10 is even closer. Oracle. It looks like Joker is sending his crew down to steal weapons off the Tiger Guards. That's not good. Those guys are armed with the latest military weapons. Like what? Guns? Taser sticks? Those have been around for a while, Oracle. She says that they have the most advanced versions of those things. It's not like they're going out with muskets and bayonets. They're going there with AR-15s and grenades. You... Me. A better world. Batman is terrible at keeping a secret identity a secret. He grew close to Talia, so it makes sense that she would know. Ah, I got some Jesus imagery here, but he's nothing like Jesus. He's coming back from the dead. Jesus did that. So, point disproven. Apparently in Gotham, anything could be reanimated with electricity. Solomon Grundy. Sociopathic leaders of ancient mystical cults. No, it's actually just the Lazarus Pit powered by electricity. It's the Lazarus bringing Roz back to life, not the lightning. What are you doing? You should have killed me. Yes, he should have. What kind of a man sacrifices his own daughter? What kind of daughter tells her boyfriend to kill her dad? Her dad wanted to die. Give it to me. I'm afraid I cannot do that, Batman. You have given me your last order. Batman trusted a sociopath. Freeze is pretty much the most trustworthy criminal in Arkham. He could kill Batman at any point, but doesn't. Protocol 10 will commence in one hour. Oh yeah, Protocol 10, that's, uh, that's a thing. You get it. There's nothing you can teach me, Joker. Oh, come on. There's always something to learn. Let's start with getting your ass kicked 101. Cheesy line is cheesy. Yeah, because he's the Joker, and that line was classic. <laughs> Encore! More! Bravo! <laughs> It was never you. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> uh, confusing, isn't it? Yes, it is a bit confusing, but I think I can clear it up. Here's Joker's 13-step plan to killing the Batman. Step 1, lure Batman to the church, where he has to escape from a bomb. Step 2, lure him to the steel mill. Step 3, pit him against Mr. Hammer. Step 4, replace real Joker with a perfect fake distraction Joker. Step 5, hope that Batman will not fight you off when you attempt to gas him. Step 6, give him your blood. Step 7, ask for his help. I need your help. 
Step 8. Steal the cure from Mr. Freeze, but don't take it yet. Step 9. Try to kill Batman again. Step 10. Be led to the Lazarus Pit by Batman's girlfriend. Step 11. Use Batman's girlfriend to lure Batman to the theater. Step 12. Kill Batman's girlfriend. Step 13. Pit Batman against Clayface in an attempt to kill Batman. By laying out Joker's 13-step plan, I've demonstrated yet again that supervillains are super stupid. Most of this wasn't even part of his plan, and the parts that were make perfect sense. Getting Batman into the church in Steel Mill helps Joker poison him to help him later. He fights Mr. Hammer so that the dead Joker can be set up. Harley stole the cure, was intercepted by Talia, and tied up in the Steel Mill before she could get it to Joker. He doesn't know about Talia or the Lazarus Pit. After that, it makes perfect sense. Who's to say Joker wants him dead? He just wants the cure. Which he thought Batman had. Clayface is just there so that Batman won't be able to take the cure first. That's all he wanted this entire game, to be cured. He never deliberately wants Batman dead. Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. You know, apparently superheroes are also super stupid. <laughs> Batman can't live without the Joker. This series was dedicated to their relationship. End. Alright, with that in mind, we have reached a total of 162 sins across these four videos. So the punishment will be the smelting chamber. After tea with Mr. Hammer, of course.